Hey cruisers, it's Frank and Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. Today is episode 44 of our Q&A series. we said in the beginning today is episode 44 of our q a series and if you have questions we have answers it's very simple all you have to do is email us at <gasps> cruising with wheels at gmail.com include your question and your name and uh we may use it on one of our regular q a's we also right. take questions on instagram Twitter, mm -hmm. Snapchat, uh -huh. Facebook, uh -huh. <laughs> and if you're not already a regular subscriber, what do they have to do? Just go to that Cruising with Wheels YouTube page and click the little subscribe button. They don't even have to go to the page. <gasps> they can do it right from this video. Get out! And click subscribe. And don't be a dingling. Click that little bell to get regular notifications of when our videos go live. But let's jump right into today's I know. first we got question all these from questions. Anna. Yes, Anna. And questions are never too silly. Some are strange, but never too silly. Anna says, germaphobe here. How clean are the pools really on a ship? It's people soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross, like every pool, I'm sure. <laughs> Every pool is gross. It doesn't matter how much chemicals you put in it. That's <laughs> just my say opinion. That. The ocean's gross too. Do you know that fish pee in the ocean? I know. And pee and poop and hey, if you can swim in the ocean, the pool on a ship is nothing. So basically, they <laughs> clean. Uh, uh, cruise lines will drain their pools and clean the pools and replace the water uh, with clean water. But the water that's put in that pool is from the ocean. Yeah, it goes through a filtration system. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the CDC does do inspections as part of their vessel sanitation program to make sure that uh, the water in hot tubs and pools is what it should be. And it's usually recircle, recircled, <laughs> recirculated every four to six <laughs> say hours. Our next question comes from Lynette, and Lynette writes, My cousin won't go on a cruise with me because she's afraid of falling off the ship. What do I tell her? I'm going to fall! Well, I get this question silly. all the time Yeah, at we, the do, we kind of do. That's, that is something like my sister would say. I can't swim. I, I, I don't want to go on a ship. What if it sinks? What if I fall off? Well, well I mean, you're not going to live. What if, mon go. what if monkeys fly out of your butt? I mean, you're not going to fall off. You know, what we say is, A, don't be a drunken fool. Don't climb on railings where you shouldn't be climbing on. And the railings on the ship are high enough. I'm like, how does someone fall off? Well, they fell off because... They fell off because they climbed. Because they were climbing on a railing. Or um, <clears throat> do you remember that one story about, um, what was it, this uh, social media person who climbed on the outside of the ship and was hanging off? Was it the Royal, a Royal Caribbean ship? And I they got no banned. Idea. I think they got banned for life. I mean, don't do dangerous stuff. Don't be a drunken fool. And I'm probably going to almost guarantee you won't fall off the ship. And I say it doesn't matter if you can swim or not. You can still go on a cruise because I get that question all the time. I can't swim. I can't swim. Uh, first, what do I do uh, if I fall off? Well, first of all, if you fall off, chances are you're not going to survive. If you're on deck 14, <laughs> it's 14 stories high and you're hitting the ocean. Yeah. And uh, if you think a belly flop hurts. Break, pool. break neck speed, no pun intended. Uh, and secondly, <laughs> if this ship is sinking and, you're, and you can swim, where are you going to swim to? I, I don't know. So I that's know. what I, I say. I can't swim. And Why I'm do not, people always I, go I to the dark know. side? I don't know, and I'm not afraid to be on a ship. Dark side, they go to I the dark know, side. I know, they do. Kind of crazy. What did Howard oh, ask us? Oh, next one, yeah, Howard. Howard says, we sadly had a guest die. Here we go about death again. We sadly had a guest die on our last cruise. What happens then? Do they leave them in their cabin? No, they do not leave them in their okay, cabin. Howard, pretty much, if, if, we, if you think about it logically, cabins based on double occupancy, one of them dies, 
no, they're not going to leave the dead body in the cabin with the other guests. Cruise ships are required to have morgues, actually, and body bags yeah. on board just for this specific yeah. instance. And bodies are stored until they reach uh, an appropriate area, uh, whether it be a uh, willing country or a friendly it, port. It has where they to can be, be shipped some, back. a country, a port that is willing to take the body, uh, issue a death certificate, mm -hmm. and then the repatriation of the body to wherever they live, you know, happens. Uh, but, oh, you people, don't be, like, all morbid about cruising. No, it's morbid. <laughs> Please, can we have a positive question well, next? Well, Elizabeth <laughs> wrote us, and she said that she's a fashion girl. Oh, well, and how much luggage can she bring oh, on geez. board? Is there a specific limit? Okay, okay. Okay, Miss Titanic. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there really isn't a limit, I don't think. I don't think there's a limit on what you can bring. But think about it. Think about it, Miss Fashion Girl. There is no storage area. Your, I know. You're going to have to store the empty luggage in your cabin. <coughs> Excuse me. So unless you're in a haven villa, you know. It doesn't matter even that. But then. jeepers, how much stuff are you taking with you? Now, what did Kelly write us about? Uh, Kelly says, my sister insists on filling up her fake bottles of shampoo with liquor. Mm. I'm afraid she's going to get caught and going to get kicked off the ship or not allowed to board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People do this all the time. Uh, yeah, they try to do this yeah. all the time. And, you know, there are consequences in some cases. Yeah. Um, I don't think you'll be bounced. Oh, you, I you read think so? some some. I've read that some people have been bounced for doing this, but, but security at the cruise terminals yeah. are just as stringent <laughs> as they are yeah. at the airport yeah, and just as secure. T Kelly, tell your sister, they're on to her scheme. <laughs> uh, so in most cases, they'll just confiscate yeah. it. Uh, the, the cruise lines are on to the, yeah, they the are. scheme. They know. Your and, sister's not the first or will be the last. Uh, and, you know, in some cases, depending on how much that they've brought, Gosh. Uh, they could uh, they could be uh, uh, um, uh, 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 bounced and banned. Well, they could be, uh, yeah, not allowed to embark. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, or disembark. Because you don't come across as a very upstanding, honest person. So if well, they it's let in you your cruise contract, right? If they let you on, what other illegal, uh, no, shady like, stuff are you going to be pulling while you're on board? Like, 10 page the 10 contract, page contract with small print that nobody ever reads. Right, you get the magnifying glass up. But so, yeah. Cassandra wrote us, right? What's Cassandra? She want? says, I'm so confused. Don't be confused. Uh, and getting so many different answers. Booking directly with the cruise line or with my own travel agent? Um, Everyone says one is better than the other. Well, there are pluses and minuses well, yeah. to both. But we always felt like uh, if we have a travel agent, we have somebody in our corner fighting for right. us. Right. Uh, as opposed to, I guess, the cruise line. Um, you know, well, you know, you call and you get whoever answers the phone. But They you, work for the cruise they line. They work for the cruise line. But here's an experience we had. We booked. First of all, we did have our own travel agency here in Rochester, Jennifer. Uh, but it was always kind of like... Well, it was Rochester Travel Group. Right, tra going to her office back and forth, uh, to, you know, getting in the car stuff. Uh, and then we decided, uh, we went directly with the cruise line, uh, and we booked a cruise, but then you discovered... Um, I discovered an <laughs> online... Yeah. Uh, an online company, and uh, if you want the name of our agent, you simply have to email us. Um, and, the, and the cruise was how much cheaper? The cruise was like... $1,200 cheaper if we booked it with them. Uh, and it was, it turned out that it was an error. It turned out that it was an error, but they honored the error. Yes. And it was so, only for like six hours that they had this Points whole thing. for that. So points for that. So, but in addition, we got extra onboard credit. Right. Um, and then they have a rewards-based system, much like the cruise lines right. do, so that um, the more we've cruised, the more onboard credit we get, or we get little treats delivered right. to us, and, when we, and then you have a relationship. Right. 
um, with with a person. Right. You know, they get to know what you like and what so, you don't yeah, so, like. So not only are you accruing benefits in terms of status with the cruise line, but also with the cruise company you're working with, you can accrue more perks. Right. So, so it's like a double a double bonus. Well, so, yeah. and we don't just get onboard credit. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. We get onboard credit. We get shore excursion yeah. credits. We get um, a, 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 a resort for a day. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, every trip, um, and I can't remember. There's something yeah, else. Yeah, so it's nice to get perks from the cruise line and perks from our travel group. Right. Yeah. I personally feel like it's a drawback when you're dealing with the cruise line directly, uh, booking directly. I know a lot of people in, like that. So the perk with booking directly with the cruise line is you're allowed to speak with them directly. Right. If you book with a travel agent, everything has to be right. funneled through that travel agent, right? right? Um, if you book directly with the cruise line, though, you can pretty much call them 24-7 and get your question right. answered. And people However, I have found that the, that, that the problem with a lot of the cruise line um, agents um, is that they're either new, they haven't been in the travel industry long enough, or they're shifting around so many times that they generally don't know what they're talking about. That's, they only know what's on their screen. Well, that's true. But people will say, well, yeah, but I deal directly with the, with the cruise line and I have my own personal cruise consultant, my, my PCC. Yep. But that's, but think of this. You can only book that cruise line with that PCC right. pers or personal right. cruise our, consultant. Our person. An agent, a travel agent can book any right. cruise line. Royal, NCL, uh, Princess, uh, Holland America. <clears throat> so if and, you want to try something right. different. And, 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 our, and, our, and our, our travel agent, our, our person, um, you know, has all their training and certificates in uh, expertise of those cruise lines. So, yeah. So, what did Lisa say, Frank? Well, Lisa says, or asks, I should say, I'm pretty much a teetotaler, and I don't like being around drunk people. Which cruise line is better for me? How's a teetotaler? Someone who doesn't drink. I a never heard that expression. Teetotaler. You never heard of the expression heard teetotaler? It. Yeah, doesn't I'm drink. I'm a drinker. Non-alcoholic. Well, okay. Lisa? Which cruise line is better for her? There's going to be a lot of drinking going on on any cruise. You can't predict um, who, the who, what, when, where, and behavior uh, or how much alcohol consumption is going to be around you. Exactly. Um, so. And you, we really can't advise you. I, really? Because I, I, it's, it doesn't matter. Because we could say uh, we have been on Carnival cruise ships. Where it has been party hardy, party hardy, but we have been on carnival ships that right. we haven't. Right. There hasn't been a lot of action. We have been on ships. You know? It's well, going to depend ship to ship, right. cruise to cruise, uh, and cruise line to cruise line. Right. We've been on Good luck. we've been on cruises where the ship hasn't even left port, and people are falling down drunk and vomiting during muster drill. Right. So, you, but you really don't know. And then there's, and then there was the cruise we were on. <clears throat> it was like the retirement cruise, and it was a lot of older people. We were like the youngest, thinnest on board. Um, and so maybe there wasn't a lot of drinking. I was the youngest. On board. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. So Carl wrote in, and Carl wants to know how do I get my wife to leave me alone to do my thing what? during our cruise, drink and relax. Well, Carl, maybe she should just leave you at home. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Um, you better deal. Uh, does she know she's supposed to leave you alone uh, to drink and relax? I don't know what that means. Uh, while you're on the cruise? I mean, does she know this? Like, do you do that at well, home? You set the ground rules ahead of time. Well, yeah. I mean, you really we do should. that. We do that. Oh, yeah. You know, you have your time. Right. And I have my time. Right. And we have our time together. Right. Um, and if she's not used to that or is not wanting to do that, then you better come up with some cash or jewelry uh, as a payoff. 
I don't know what to tell well, you. Well, I think I think that a cruise is a great vacation for anybody that wants to have separate time and together time. I mean, if she's if she's used to that at home, Carl, then she's got to be used to that if you're going. But if she's looking at this cruise vacation as a together time because you're always apart at home, then you're screwed. Then I think you again uh, pony up with some cash and jewelry. Angel wrote in and said, just got back from a cruise and karaoke nights really sucked. Oh, music was awful, watched your videos, and it looked fantastic. What's going on with the music on these ships? Well, we, we kind of found that out on the, uh, even though, you know, uh, there was some great singing in the last cruise we were on. Uh, you were very disturbed and disappointed with the list, weren't so you? So I was very upset yeah. at the last cruise cruise. Uh, cruise karaoke experience so much that although I'm a tr I'm trained I'm a trained singer yes so I basically just walked up to them and said don't care give me something to sing but the list but you saw I was didn't not want to sing anything what, that was yeah on. what was is what you normally no. had not it, it didn't see it, it was pri on prior cruises it was like Oh, who's selecting this music? So what what I found out we is... We feel you, Angel. We feel yeah, you. Yeah, what I found out is is that um, the the people that are doing the karaoke on, in some of the lines, um, it's their selection. It's, they're like DJs mm -hmm. or whatever, and that's their selection of music. So they don't put themselves but, kind of outside to look <clears throat> in and say, what would the masses want? And let me give them a little of everything. It's just, no, this is what we're doing. Right. And some of the lines, Bummer. some of the cruise lines, they have those specific set lists. So right. like Carnival, they always have the same Ba, 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 ba. Right. Every ship we've been on on Carnival has the same list and same music and same... Right. And it's popular. Yeah, at least you know what you're getting. Stuff, so, I don't know. The last question... And I don't know how you find that out. <laughs> the last question comes from Darlene. Uh, not our Darlene. Not uh, our Darlene? Not our Darlene. Uh, I have a lot... <laughs> Darlene says, I have a lot of expensive jewelry that I wear. I'm concerned about bringing it with me on our cruise in January. Uh-huh. Well, how... Are they like the crown jewels? Like, how, I don't know what you, when you say expensive, I'm not sure what that means, but. You know, we, I have expensive jewelry. I have some expensive pieces. I don't bring them. Right, right. And if we do bring them, they're not worn in port. And what do I do with them? Right. Well, every cabin has a safe. There you go. Okay, there's safes in every cabin. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think you really kind of need to worry about gangs of jewelry thieves on board the ships. I mean, there's security and cameras everywhere. And just like Kevin said, going into port, yeah, I probably would be concerned and probably certain things I wouldn't wear. I mean, generally, when we're traveling, generally, generally, generally. Generally. Generally, when we're traveling uh, and we go into port, sometimes we don't wear our wedding right, rings. Right, right. Uh, but again, if you're afraid of... Based uh, on a multiple multiple things. Right, right. So where are we going? Where are we going? What's the cur current climate in terms of politically, politically uh, theft wise, uh, you know, is, is the area having, having problems? I'm thinking the, also too, like <clears throat> Jamaica. We, it's illegal to be gay. So we don't wear our jewelry. We don't wear our so, rings. So, yeah. But I will tell you, if you're afraid uh, and you wear expensive jewelry, don't bring it. Right. I mean, Or, it, you know, I'm, I'm guessing that if you have expensive jewelry, you have it insured. Right. And if you don't, <laughs> then that's another Shame on you. Another thing you should be yeah. doing. And if you're yourself afraid <clears throat> that you're going to lose something, um, then, yeah, uh, leave, yeah. It at, leave it at home. Leave Only it at home. bring with what you're comfortable. Uh, go to Claire's. Nobody knows <laughs> that your stuff is money. real. Get some cubic zirconia. <laughs> Whatever. I, have, I don't know. Right. I have a client that has a diamondique ring. I think I've told you this before. She she has a large engagement wedding set, okay? Mm -hmm. And real. Like, I was at the 25th because it was the 20, mm -hmm. the 25th uh, replacement kind of thing. It was It's real. It's like 
four or five carats. It's huge. The thing, I mean, if she falls off the ship, she'll sink to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> it's so big. She has a Dominique that looks, looks just like it. Yeah. Very, very Let similar. Let them take it. <laughs> and you, if you mix them up, you can't tell the difference. Go ahead. Go, go to Claire's, right? right? Or icing, or any place where you can get your favorite costume jewelry that looks real or whatever, and just get a whole yeah. set. Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand. I, I would be nervous too. I wouldn't bring uh, it. I would. Um, so there you have it. Those were the uh, ten. 10 uh, questions we got for this episode. I want to thank you all for joining us for another exciting Q&A. And remember, remember, don't just watch our videos. Right. Hit that subscribe button and become a regular Cruising with Wheels family member. All right. Click and click that bell. The little ding -a -ling bell so you get automatic notifications when our videos go live. Also, again, remember to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And remember to always travel safe and cruise often.